Hello friends, this video on MIS part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's start with the structure of amine. How the amines look? As I told, amine is nothing but derivative of ammonia. So this is how ammonia looks. You see ammonia. This is the structure of ammonia. The lone pair of electrons. So amines look similar to ammonia. I won't say exactly same as ammonia. Similar to ammonia. Uh, this, is, this is my ammonia and this is how amines look. Right? This looks exactly similar but the bond angle will differ. We will we'll talk about that. Why the bond angle differs. So if you see the nitrogen here atom of this amine is trivalent. 1, 2, 3. It carries unpaired electron. So it has one unshared pair of electron plus it is trivalent. Correct. So if you see the nitrogen's electronic number is 7. So uh, it is 1s2, 2s2, 2p3. So this is the one which will take part in the reaction. So if I draw the orbital structure it is something like this. 2s2, 2p3. Yes. So if you see there are five electrons in the outermost orbital. So it will form sp3 hybridization. Right? Five, right? sp3. Why sp3? Because this part will be lone pair if you assume. And this will be three bond. One bond, two bond, three bond. And this will be a lone pair here. And they form sp3 hybridized. That is how the structure is. You see ammonia also, it has similar sp3 hybridized orbital, right? So they are tetrahedral. So this is pyramidal. Why pyramidal? Because this part is not there actually. This is a lone pair of electron, right? This part is not there. So this is pyramidal. This is pyramidal. Now if you see each of these three sp3 hybridized orbital of this nitrogen, they overlap with hydrogen or carbon. So this can be hydrogen or this can be carbon, right? So, or any alkyl groups, it will have some carbon. Or for example, this also can be a carbon with a benzene ring. Correct. So this, this thing can be a hydrogen or carbon, depending on uh, what kind of amine you have. So this is the structure, actually. So this is a pyramidal. Please note it's not a tetrahedron. Why? Because this part is all blank. This is a lone pair of electrons here. This is a lone pair of electrons here. This is pyramidal. Correct. So this the fourth orbital, as I told, has unshared pair of electrons. This is how it is. So one, two, three, and this fourth is unshared pair of electron. And that's why it's pyramidal. And please note that because of the presence of unshared pair of electron, right, because of this, this, this thing, this angle is less than 109 degree. So if you see the typical angle is 109 degree, right? This the typical is a tetrahedron actually, and all these angles are 109 degree for a tetrahedron shape. But since this is a lone pair of electron here, so instead of tetrahedron is pyramidal because this, this part is gone, right? Because there's nothing here. This becomes pyramidal and the angle becomes less than 109 degree. So in case of trimethyl aniline this is 108 degree so let's assume that oh, let me draw trimethylalanine so let's assume that they are all ch3 okay let me draw this structure so here if you see this angle is 108 degree why because if you see the lone pair of electron will give a push it will bend a little bit more and the angle will be less than 109 degree that is here 108 degree Hope you understand. See, generally it is my tetrahedron itself, but this part is not attached. This, this the orbital, the fourth orbital is not attached to any uh, atom. So this is all blank. So the shape becomes pyramid. We have learned about this in the shapes in the Vesper model. So if this is the shape, this is my tetrahedron. But if you remove the upper part, this becomes pyramidal, and that's what happened here. So instead of bond here there is just a lone pair of electrons so this becomes pyramidal and since there is a lone pair of electrons here this lone pair of electron will push this more because it has more electron density since this will be pushed a little bit 
down, this will be pushed a little bit in this direction. So this angle that was 109.5 degree in the tetrahedron ideal scenario will no longer be 109.5 degree, it will be a little less because of the push. So this is 108 in the case of trimethyl amine. Correct. So this is the structure of amine. This is pyramidal. Please note. Amine is pyramidal. And the angle is 108 in case of trimethyl amine. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.